guys, Janine here, and I am coming to you with another Timu unboxing video. Um, this one is going to be a little odd because it is all over the place, truly. There's some stuff in here for my son um, who is into hunting, so um, don't be all put, put off by that sort of stuff because it's that is uh, just a hobby of his as well as just target shooting in general. So there's some household stuff, a little bit of crafting stuff, a little bit of makeup stuff anyway so let's just go ahead and get started um as you can tell in this manicure here and um check out uh, my other videos i show you about this mineral bond manicure system um, but i found some more of that mineral type powder on timu um and now i kind of regret buying it because i really thought it was a colored powder and it's really just a um just one to create like an uh, an opalescent effect and there's really not very much in here at all. Uh, and I already have one like this that I got with the Mineral Bond system. Um, so this was really kind of an unnecessary purchase. But oh well. I think it was a couple of bucks. Anyway. Um, so for the son. I got him this hat. Uh, he likes wearing. Base, or, you know these type of baseball hats I guess you could say. Um, and it, the camo with the fluorescent orange deer head he'll be all about it he'll love it and then I got him these sorry about that targets uh, for target shooting uh, these sorts of things in the States can be really expensive even though it's a very expendable product that you're gonna basically be tearing up and then throwing away so uh, thought it was nice to get something uh, at a more discounted price. Uh, I'll put the prices and the links in the description below uh, for you guys. Uh, can't promise availability, but here you go. And here's, oh, I'm a little disappointed. This is a bag that I got to be able to pack up crafting supplies and take them on the go. And this is one of my gripes with Timu. Um, sometimes they do show the, uh, dimensions but sometimes it's hard to get an idea of dimensions but then they'll show you a picture of the product but they superimpose it over other things that make it look much bigger than it is this is very much smaller than um i was expecting it to be i was actually expecting it probably to be about twice this size uh and this i mean seriously two to three times the size is what i was expecting so i and i honestly thought the pockets like you see on the front here, I honestly thought they went all the way around. I mean, this is not much bigger than a purse, and I was looking at a tote that would be big enough to tote a large amount of craft supplies somewhere. Um, so, I, you know, and this, I think, was kind of pricey uh, for what it, what I'm seeing. It, for it, Had it been the size I expected it to be, it would have been a good deal, but I want to say it was around $15, and for this little purse size thing is not a great deal. So I'm a little disappointed. Um, yeah, that's. I'll I'll put a picture uh, in the video some kind of way or um, in the card. But I mean that's just my camera is making it look really big. But I'm telling you, let's see. This is about 13 inches um, this away, and about five inches um, this away and I would say and it is about eight and a half inches tall so it, it is quite a bit smaller than I was expecting I really was expecting something with a much bigger compartment here and then again pockets that went all the way around so that's a little bit of a womp womp um, and I'm telling you, I got some household stuff, so it, this this haul is all over the place. My apologies for that. Let's get this open, see what's in here. So we have in this house um, three walk-in showers, and it can be a lot to uh, scrub all those down, walls, floors, and so forth. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get this out of here. So I got a tool, or a couple of tools. We're going to try them both and see... Um, which one is the most useful so it is a nice stiff scrubbing brush with kind of a uh, it has a bit of a flexible head to it which is nice and 
oddly enough, because sometimes you just never know what Timu, um, <laughs> if you can expect all the pieces and parts. So it, it does come with the pole that you can see here can be a, put all together, made an extension pole, which will actually make it useful for scrubbing shower floor, shower walls, and so forth. And I got this die. It was one of those last minute add-ins. They, uh, Timu is really great about that. They, they learn your shopping style and then they suggest things to you as you're checking out. It's like, add this, one click buy. And so I got this die. I just thought it would be pretty for Christmas. Um, it's kind of a twig type wreath uh, looking die. And I thought it was pretty neat. I don't think it'll fit through my mini. Yeah, no, it's too wide to go through my mini die cutting machine but anyway that's cute let's see what else is in this bag okay and this is a set of brushes now this was a set of brushes that you can attach if you have a motor drill um, or drill motor uh, so you this attaches just like a screwdriver would um, on this part here and so they have a smaller one so my husband and I do have a, a little bit of an issue with the grout in our shower it just gets mildewed really really easy so again, I wanted to try these different um, cleaning systems to see which one would actually do the better job on it. Uh, I got the one on the extension. I mean, absolutely, I think this will on a drill motor will do the best job as far as really scrubbing it clean. But what I thought would be great with this on the extension pole would be the reach of not having to bend over or get down on hands and knees to scrub a uh, shower floor. And some more things in the bottom of this bag. Uh, this is actually part of an overall larger uh, Timu order. So we got we usually get it all at one time, but this time it's coming in kind of bits and pieces. But I think it was just because of the volume. So I, I have uh, some glue dispensers, but I'm not that crazy about them. Um, anybody that uses liquid glue in crafting uh, will feel me on this. Trying to keep the tips of these clean and keep the glue from clogging in them is extraordinarily difficult. And I have found out that I am not in love. I'm sorry, I'm trying to reach this glue bottle. I am not in love with these where you have to put a pin in it because what ends up happening is the pin rusts. And then that rust gets in your glue and it's unsightly and it's gross looking and I don't like it. And then it really doesn't always work to keep the glue from clogging. So when I saw these on Timu, um, I thought this might, it might work, it might not. But it has these silicone stoppers that you put on top of the bottle. And I'm telling you, they fit really, really snugly. Um, so I am hoping that what they're gonna do uh, is keep the glue from drying out in the tip without having to put a pin in it. And then I like the fact that, I mean, this is a four ounce bottle or 60 milliliter bottle and this is a 30 milliliter bottle. And so I get really tired of having to constantly refill this thing. So we're going to find out. Uh, we will see if this works better uh, for keeping uh, the tip unclogged. I like that it fits on so you don't have to worry about where's where's the closure for my so it's right there it's always going to be with it fits on nice and snug so we're going to find out and it came in a set of four which is great because I do walk, work with multiple glues and I'm about to do a workshop um, with the uh, ladies at my church a little uh card making workshop uh, for Christmas so I'm trying to put together some supplies for that and this will be great because it'll allow me to have multiple bottles of glue maybe one on each table depending on how many people we get at this little workshop so we will find out and then okay this one's kind of a, a little off the wall item <laughs> so my husband bless his heart has the bushiest eyebrows of anybody I have met in my life and I generally try to keep them trimmed for him, but it can be a little difficult because I'm trying so hard, of course, to be careful around his eye and not cause him any injury. And when I saw these specific scissors specifically for trimming eyebrows, I just knew I had to give them a try. I have my doubts. They, they just don't feel very good quality or very well made. So that may not be so great. And then one of the things I realized I was absolutely missing in my stash 
was a nice little die cut die for just a happy birthday sentiment. And so this was one of those really clever suggestions that Timu uh, gave me at, at checkout. It showed me this little happy birthday die and I was like, yep, I do believe I need that in my life. So we shall see. Um, I wonder if this one will fit through the little... Oh, yes. Well, let's try this little die out and see how it looks. I mean, so far, I've been pretty pleased with my Timu dies. I haven't found any issues. They work just fine. Now, this die does come apart. Um, so I, it can be clipped apart and so then you have the main sentiment and then you can cut the second piece um, to, for a shadow behind it. But I'm just going to, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to uh, cut the whole thing and let's see how it looks. And you know what, I am going to put it on an angle, if, well if I can, I don't think I cut my little piece of scrap paper big enough. That's okay. Well, let me put the whole paper at an angle. That might help. There we go. Okay, this one cut so-so. I had this issue with another die that I ran through it. So it didn't, uh, well, let's see. Maybe it cut better than I thought. I'm thinking I may have to use a shim um, for this little die cutting uh, machine. That appears to be the case because it didn't really cut as cleanly as I would have liked. So let me cut off another piece. Now let's try this one more time, Don't why don't we? All right, and let me cut a shim while I'm at it to give this a little more pressure. Okay. So we've got our happy birthday. Oh, let me put this on the A plate. That's the one that's yucky looking right now. And let me put a little bit of a shim on it. Give it a little more pressure. Uh, yeah, I can feel the difference. That's all it took. Shot out of there like a cannon. Okay. Oh, yep. Look how much better that looks. So, note to self. Use a shim with these more intricate die cuts. So, that is my whole Timu haul for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you guys are very blessed. Take care. Bye now.